Then they lost the final two fine silvers. The fine silvers were amazing forever. One giving it up, the other one going to Michigan. So when you have those four fine silvers for all those years, and then you had Casper, now they have Niesenbaum at heavyweight. It's been a down year, though, for Duke. It has been. It has been. And, you know, I know that staff personally, they work incredibly hard. Ethan Ramos, who actually is on staff as well for them, is a Tar Heel, right? Yeah. Also, uh, in the World Bronze Medal match this year, this past year, the World Championships at 86 kilos for men's freestyle. So, you know, he's had some success, some success wrestling at the senior level with their Team Puerto Rico and their national team. So, you know, they have great coaches. It's it's just unfortunate that they've been plagued with injuries this year. And we see Ramos, right, in the, the corner for Duke, do we not? Yep, we do. So you obviously know him well. I do, I do. He's a dear friend. And then you also have Coach Erickson, who is a heavyweight coach and who I would success. imagine takes most of the success for Nisabon because and Casper. he was second on the, and Casper, it, Erickson was second on the U.S. national team for quite some time behind Bruce Baumgartner. Wow. For those of you who don't know who Legend. Bruce Baumgartner is, he is the most decorated wrestler in USA wrestling history. He lost He's, his toes, right? <laughs> did he not? I, I'm not sure. I'll have to ask him. No, I think he did, actually. I think you don't know what I'm talking about, huh? Bruce? Yeah, I feel like he would. Well, we'll go back to it. But anyway, yeah, but yeah, one so, of the yeah, big time. Yeah, big yeah. time. He was a two-time Olympic gold medalist. And <clears throat> he actually was given the privilege to carry the Olympic torch at the opening ceremonies for uh, the Olympic Games, I believe. It was either that or to beat the flag bearer for Team USA. But Bruce Baumgartner is the most decorated wrestler in heavyweight history. And Tom Erickson was right behind Bruce for quite some time. Building advantage time. Baumgartner, one of the great Olympic athletes of all time, only the fifth American to win a medal in four Olympics. This is just incredible. And Tom Erickson was right behind him. So for those of you who didn't know who Tom Erickson was, he's, uh, he's, he's got the resume, he's got the credentials, and he's got the ability. I think that's a big reason why you see Lisa Bond having some success this year as well. But also, you can't forget Glenn Lennon. Glenn Lennon has produced several Americans at the upper weights since he's been at Duke as well. You had Connor, uh, who was an All-American before Jacob Casper. And you had Jacob Casper, who's a dear friend of mine, who's a two-time All-American for them, and a two-time NCAA finalist, who's now in the WWE. Gain up 2-0 over Wimmer from Duke. I was thinking of Gardner. Rulon Gardner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another great heavyweight. He did also lose some toes, to actually. Sport. Frostbite. Yeah. Yeah, my, my apologies there. <laughs> <laughs> also legend of the sport, though. Good look at Tom Erickson. Yeah. I mean, you nailed it. I mean, Duke at the heavyweight has been solid over several years, and he's a key part of the reason. Absolutely. Kane up 2-0 with riding time. No, no riding time. Well, looks like he'll keep his riding time. Um, and looks like he'll continue to build that lead. If he elevates this off of the mat, doing a good job securing the takedown here. Tied by Cage. And wrist control, the opposite side of the body. Nice shot attempt there. Good job keeping his head up, getting his hips underneath to secure the takedown for two. Building his lead, seven to one, with riding time at a minute 22 and counting. Cage is starting to put himself in a position to secure the major decision, which would give some bonus points for UNC Chapel Hill, which could be 
Great for the team race for them. At 184, Mach, five NCAA qualifiers. It's the only weight class that has five AQs, just to give you an idea how loaded it is, including Trent Heidley, who is the number one seed. And That's the defending deep. champ. Yeah. That's deep. And, uh, yeah, it's not often where you have five bids and one bracket. Imagine if they had all six. <laughs> Yeah, so that, that'll be a fun weight class to follow. 197 as well, you have Nino Bonacorski, who's a returning NCAA finalist, ring number one in the country. And you have Isaac Trumbull from NC State, who has some wins over Nino. Trumbull's seven. Lost this year three. to him, but yeah. it's beaten him in the past and definitely has the ability to pull a win out this weekend. And what I like about Trumbull is you don't always see a ton of pins at 197, as you know. He's at 13 pins, Trumbull. Yeah, tough on top, very long, understands how to use leverage well. Very, very tough individual. And I love the way those two guys handled the press that they were getting after their match from the one exchange. Where Trumbull had this head pitch position and kind of brought him back down to the mat that looked like was foul play, but Nino came out and made a statement that was like, I respect my competitor, and, and just was very respectful and addressed it. And uh, I think both those guys just kind of handled that situation well. So I think it says a lot about their character as well. So just icing on the cake that they're great wrestlers and obviously even better people. There you go. He looking to be in control here, seven to one. Minute 50 left in the third period. Looks like he's going to cut him. Gavin Kane, the sophomore from Milton, Georgia, comes in with a 19 and 5 record as Wimmer replacing Chaconis, who I thought, while his record doesn't show for it, Chaconis. Russell well this year for Duke at one nice shot attempt there by Wimmer. Got a thumb block here. Kane doing a good job putting two together. Single leg snap. Looks for a double attempt. Coming back up. I'd like to see another single leg attempt to that same side by Wimmer. Put himself back in the match, but there's only a minute and seven seconds left here in the third period with Kane having two minutes and 34 seconds of routing time. So a score really eight to two. And if I'm Wimmer, I gotta have more urgency. I gotta be starting to try and create more offense. And you think you'd see a little bit more activity here by him, but. Kane's also doing a great job positionally and not really allowing him to create offense. So kudos to both guys. There you go. There's another attempt. He's trying. He's looking for offense. He's got to clear that collar tie. Kane getting to a single leg off the collar tie, looking to sit for a finish. Ends up coming up to a, a lock. This will be the final match we'll see on mat one before the semifinals at one o'clock. So both 197 matches, weight class that you love, were over on mat two. Sorry about that, Mike. No, no worries. <laughs> so Kane's going to pull this one out. Score is going to be 10 to two with that takedown that he scored there at the end of the third period and the right time point, 11 to two. So he's going to get a major decision, which is going to help out UNC and the team race as well. Gavin Kane, the number three seed in 184, where they 